Yeah, we're a bit tangled on up here. I don't know, I don't mind. If you said to me outside, it's okay to sit down. Indeed it is. What can we sit on? If you want to, we can sit on the on the edge. That looks dangerous. Yeah, it's, I, I, would, I would go with a joke compared to the edge, but I won't go there yet. Okay then. Yeah. But okay. if you want to, No, I'm, I'm fine here. I feel good. Because all the shares has been spoken for since you had so many fans. That want to sit down. <laughs> they, they didn't even leave me one chair. <laughs> you took my chair, didn't you? <laughs> of course. Well, William, I started to present you for the audience as William Billy Boyd, but I'm curious, does anyone except your old English teacher call you William nowadays? No, I don't think any. Oh, Don Monaghan calls me Wilhelm. He does. Wilhelm, as yeah. in Wilhelm Tell? I don't know. He, whenever he leaves a message, he always says, Wilhelm, God, I thought you were like a, a wrestler there. I thought you were going to get that in the back of the head. <laughs> Look at this. It's like a monkey with a computer. <laughs> Fantastic. Now we've only got one chair. I can't just sit on it while you like... Yeah, it's okay. It's like Ikea. Uh, yeah, I'll feel like I'm in a detective show. <laughs> now you're like a hippie. This is... It's kind of cool. The people at the back can't see you now. You'll just be like a voice to them. There you go. But the thing That's is... quite good, wasn't it? They would like to see you. Alright, I'll get up as well then. <laughs> I'm nearly finished my coffee. Hold on. You can sit there. <laughs> well, let's start from the beginning. All right. I heard that you were rehearsing for a show when you received a phone call saying you got the part in Lord of the Rings. Uh, I heard that the show was Helmet, but I'm very curious, what was your first thoughts? Um, that's not the beginning. I had a life before that. <laughs> of course you did. I went to school and then I played some football and then I was a bookbinder and then I fell off a wall once, that was really sad and then one time a football player called John Gregg signed my football and then somebody stole that football so that was a shame yeah and then that takes me up to when I was doing helmet and yeah but if you want to we can pause and, and, and take a question prior to the helmet because at the age of 10 you took some drama classes in school and you told your school counselor that you wanted to be an, an, an actor. Yeah. And he said, please don't tell anyone. Yeah. Something like that, right? That's true, because um, I grew up in quite a, a, quite a hard place in Glasgow. You know, a lot of people think Glasgow is quite, you know, it's got a, it's got a name for being quite hard, quite violent. And I grew up in one of those places and you, you shouldn't really say you want to be an actor because people just beat you up. So I think he was just trying to save me, you know, getting beaten up. But uh, I ignored him and I just became an actor anyway. And we're very, very, very thankful for that. Yeah, so am I. It was good. Way, way. <laughs> So let's get back to the helmet part and your thoughts when someone called you and said you can be a part of Lord of the Rings. Yeah, well, everyone, all the actors I knew were going up for Lord of the Rings, uh, auditioning for it. So I auditioned for it along with everyone, you know, hundreds of people, thousands maybe, I don't know. So I wasn't really expecting to get it and I certainly didn't expect to get it so easily. I thought it'd be one of those jobs that you'd have to audition five, six, seven times for. But I met Pete Jackson once and and he directed me in the scene for about 45 minutes. And then I went back, as you say, and I was working in theatre in a play called Helmet, which was based on Hamlet, except it was a young guy who couldn't wait for the PlayStation 2 to come out and he felt like that was going to make everything better in his life. So it was based on Hamlet. 
and I was doing this play, and I had no money, and I used to get the bus from my house to the theatre, and uh, and Pete Jackson phoned me up when I was on the bus, and I couldn't really speak to him. You know when you're on a bus and there's a lot of people, and I'd already been told that I'd got the part, and uh, and then I had this weird sort of 30 minute phone call with Pete Jackson talking about Pippin on a bus going to Edinburgh and I'm, I'm trying, I'm talking, I'm like yeah, yeah, sounds good Pete, yeah, yeah yeah, well, yeah, we could, yeah, we'll do second breakfast and all that, yeah you know, talking about all these things on a bus so yeah, it was kind of weird and then I had to get off and do this play and not tell anyone that I was in Lord of the Rings because it was all very hush-hush it's all secrets <laughs>